We're getting started on YouTube. You're live. Dana's on. Oh, I do. Jordan's on. VC's Hello, on. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. We are making sinful double chocolate cake. Are we on YouTube yet? It's so delicious. You're going to do anything to eat it now, aren't you? So delicious. Yes, we're on YouTube again. too. All right. Hello, everyone. We are making sinful double chocolate cake. It's also known as poke cake because you poke holes all over the cake with the little thing like this skewer right here. So, so we need to know what this super chat is. It Turn says, it on and see what happens. It says people can pay to have their chat highlighted. I'm not sure if we want to do that or not. Oh, they pay to have their chat highlighted? Why would you pay to have your chat highlighted? Huh? Why would you pay to have your chat highlighted? Well, you know how sometimes people like all caps the chat so they can be seen more? Well, that's supposed to make it like bold or something. So you And answer. if you don't respond to it in a certain, a certain amount of time, it refunds the I wasn't money. sure if we wanted to do something okay. like that. So I figured we'll so research that. we have hey, everyone. a live show Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 4.30 Mountain. Sorry, this Wednesday we had issues. Last Wednesday, YouTube was being, well, let's just say they were being a dork. Okay, sinful double chocolate cake. Now, why is this doubly chocolate? Well, let's see, can I see anything on myself here? Where do I need to be? Right here. Oh. Okay. Dave? Um, I don't know if anyone can see the bucket or the. Yeah, they can now. Are cool. you sure? Okay, it's okay. Yeah. So, I'm going to make this one gluten free today. What? I know. I threw a surprise in there because, you know, so I'm using my gluten-free flour that I got from Road to the Farm. She so ever wonderfully sent me six cups of it and I have been hoarding it, but I haven't had a chocolate cake in probably, I haven't Kim had, says we are ready. I probably haven't had chocolate cake in probably a long time. Probably Ooh. five years. Lori says hi from Switzerland. Love your Ooh. show. Ooh, hi, Lori. Hi, Lori. Switzerland. Okay, it's wow. Says, how Jonathan fun. says sinful just moments before seven starts. I know. <laughs> okay. So I got my flour in here. I'm going to put my sugar. Oh, Marianne's here. I don't remember seeing you for Hello. a little while, Mary Ann. Great to have you back. And then my baking powder. All right, guys, give me a thumbs up if you can see everything okay, please. Baking powder, so here we go. Yay. And... Man, you're steamrolling through this. Becky wants to know, where is everyone? They need to get in here, LOL. And is it because you said simple and... Probably. <laughs> <laughs> and my baking soda. Did anybody give me a thumbs up? You're getting lots of thumbs ups okay. and hearts. So now give me a thumbs up if I have the best husband in the whole wide world. Oh look, there are all those angry faces going across. The I don't know, they, they, <laughs> but they have to make sure their husbands aren't watching. <laughs> well, there's tons of hearts. So thumbs give me ups. a thumbs up if I have the best husband on living on a dime. <laughs> Hi. Um, okay, I am horribly sick. I'm sorry. I drank a smoothie before I went to go get the boys for school because I didn't eat lunch, and smoothies make me want to throw up. Everyone thumbs up. And so, I I'm sorry if my brain is not quite working today. I feel like I gave myself food poisoning. Um, okay, so where am I at? Sunshine I have my... says, I can smell this chocolate cake from here. This smells really good. It oh, does. I did turn my oven on 350. So I have my flour, I have my sugar, I have my baking powder, my baking soda. Oh. This is in Dining on a Dime cookbook on page 235, right here, right there. And Mike will give you the link to our website if you don't have our cookbook. But Rock. if you don't have our cookbook, why not? It's the best what? cookbook ever. Roxy Corone says watching this during that, that 
time chocolate coma question mark exactly <laughs> yes chocolate coma i just pasted the link in for the recipe so now i'm putting baking cocoa it is not the same as chocolate chips it's like a flour and it has no sugar in it but it's called baking cocoa <gasps> i forgot water oops okay now i gotta get my water Jamie if you melt sugar enough. doesn't it kind of turn liquid <laughs> Jamie wants to know who's coming tomorrow. Who is coming to our Colorado meetup tomorrow? Um, just one second. So I whisk all my dry ingredients together to get all the lumps out because baking cocoa tends to lump. And so I mix everything together with the hand whisk just to get the lumps out, okay? And now I am pouring in my cocoa. So tomorrow we have Donna and Jamie coming to our meetup. My two soapers that I love in Colorado. Well, actually I have another soaper too, but I don't ever see her. Um, and then I have, you know, and I'm gonna put, I have no idea why this recipe does not have salt, but I believe the world does not have enough salt. So there you go, I just threw some in there. Uh, probably hey, shouldn't, salty. I shouldn't, whoa, I shouldn't be changing the recipe as I'm going, but, and then I take a cup of mayonnaise, so, let's see, we have a couple from Wyoming coming, and a couple from Arvada, and one, Tammy is coming from, where is Tammy, what's that city next to us, starts with an M, Milliken. <laughs> Tammy is coming from just a few miles down the road. Jonathan see, says he wishes he could come. Of course, he's in Florida. But... I know. Maybe we'll just have to go to Florida. Did you watch his video about uh, the... <laughs> Do you have a link for it? I think uh, it's in my email. So okay? Jonathan has the cutest little trailer, and I think we should put the teenagers in that little trailer. All of them the same one with the lock on the oh, outside. The lock on the outside. Oh, <laughs> that's mean. So, uh, Sorry, BJ. <laughs> what time is the meet tomorrow? So the meetup is at Perkins in Longmont at 1 p.m. tomorrow. Not no, do you, do you Longmont. To... Right here, guys. So We're just... looking delicious. Huh? Do yeah, I just posted Lincoln for us. Cute little trailer. And if you want to be there, come at 1. So I kind of... I have this thing where I hate talking on the phone. And I'm just mixing everything together. And like 30 seconds before I made the phone call, I was lecturing my daughter because she didn't call the doctor back to change her appointment. And I said, you have to talk on the phone. I know you hate talking on the phone. I hate talking on the phone, but I have to power through it and do it anyway. And what do I do? I hate talking on the phone so much I forgot to call <laughs> and reserve the, reserve the room for the meetup at Perkins. Oops. How many people are coming? Uh, like 25. Oh, whoa. So we're just going to all be in a corner somewhere. <laughs> Mom. Because I messed up. Yes. Elvira LG? I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, the last name. But it says mayonnaise and cake. Yes, mayonnaise and cake. And I'll tell you why. Because mayonnaise is made up of eggs and oil. What do all cakes need? Eggs and oil. And the mayonnaise makes it very, very moist. So, before I move on to pouring it <clears throat> in my pan, because I gotta show you what I got in the mail today. Donna is asking, do you ever use the mixer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can, but I don't do it that often. So look what arrived today in the mail. And it was all tied up pretty. See, it was all tied up like this, and it had all pretty bow. Isn't this a lovely bag? That is a lovely bag. That's really I love cool. the bag. It's nice. It came in the mail today. And guess what it is? What is it? Well, you already know because we did a video. I know, but I'm acting surprised. <gasps> a new stainless steel pan. <laughs> That's the reaction we should have had on the... We recorded it earlier when Tar first opened it, and she was like... <laughs> it took her a minute because she wasn't processing what it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, this 
is a gift from Oren and Margaret. Wasn't that thoughtful? <laughs> yes. Oh, they heard me say goodbye. They heard, heard me goodbye. say two shows ago how I asked mom to be looking for me some stainless steel pants because I can't get my aluminum ones clean. <laughs> So thank you guys. That was so thoughtful of you. Let me pick off the sticker just so that it doesn't burn in the stove. And oops, well maybe I should have done this beforehand. Oh no, there it goes. Oops, oh dear. Hmm. I can't tag anybody anymore. That's not very nice. You can't what? tag anybody? Nope. Oh dear, can I not get the sticker off for the show? No, I want to use my new pan. Dina says, yes, Florida meetup. A Florida meetup, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're thinking we're going to have to go to Florida. Stella, Stella says do another in May when I'm coming to Colorado. <laughs> yeah, you know, probably what we should do is once a month in Colorado during the summer have a meetup because people always come to Colorado for vacation, you know? Yeah. I was thinking. So we probably should. Okay, there it comes. So if you guys need to get stickers off stuff, just use water. It comes right off. <laughs> Tonya says, watch BJ's doctor video and laugh so much I was crying. I he was wondering what was going on. Were we? I love the part about the paperwork. The paper. I just oh, had that experience oh, today. Oh, BJ's video. <laughs> yes. Oh, everybody's watching your doctor's BJ, your doctor's video. They were loving it. Were you feeling his pain? Oh man, poor guy. Kayton wants to know if you. Kayton wants to know if you. Kayton wants to know if you know how to get rid of a cold quickly. Don't get one in the first place. <clears throat> well, I will tell you, I bought a supplement today that I used to take when I first started going to my functional medicine doctor, and I'm going to start taking it again. <laughs> and. It's called colostrum, and yes, it is exactly what you think it is. It's from cows, and oops, I didn't get it all mixed on the bottom. And when I was taking that, I did not get sick at all. Tell your parents. And I'm putting Mike and Ellie on it before their trip, and I'm putting BJ on it because he's been so sick. And it's coming today. And it's not very expensive. It's only like $11 for two months worth on Amazon. Um, are you leaving? Oh, yeah, man. Okay. A couple people were asking, so I just pasted in the link to BJ's YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Phyllis so, was one of those asking. Check out his doctor's video. Oh, my word. We just wanted to punch the guy that said, well, you just need to walk. <laughs> Donna says, looks like an Amazon bag. Yes. It was. It came straight oh. from Am. Oh. And Phyllis says that was so sweet. Oh. Hetsy says, "How about a Canada meetup? That would be awesome." Oh. Except we'd have to do more than one Canada meetup because Canada's big. Yeah. Let's see. How long? It's would a little it... bigger than Luxembourg. Let's see. <laughs> Just kidding. How long would it take us to go from one end of Canada to the other? About the same as it take us to go from one end of the U.S. to the other. We so loves your apron. So how long would it take us to make a great big circle? Around the U.S. zigzagging in Canada, up and down and back and forth. Uh, I imagine if we took a year, we could do like there we a go. really quick shot of everything. Like Justin Rhodes is doing. I love watching Justin Rhodes. I just relate to them so well. Sunshine says, come have cooking lessons at people's homes and soap lessons too. Ooh, that would be an interesting way to do a meetup. That's up. a good idea. Okay, <laughs> so I put that in the oven. Lori says, buy an RV and do the Living on a Dime Road show. <laughs> yeah. There you go. And so then I'm going to let that cook for 30 to 40 minutes. So I'm setting my timer. Oh, ah! That's not good. <laughs> uh, Rhonda's asking, how do you spell it? I think she's talking about that IgG. I'm not okay, sure. Okay, so go to Amazon and type in colostrum. Not, not IgG? Well, yeah, colostrum. I don't know how to spell that. U M, I I think. Um, okay, scroll down. This one right here. So Michael put the link on there. When I was on this stuff, I never got sick. This is not making a medical claim or anything. This is just my personal experience. 
<laughs> but it worked really, really well for me. And I'm going to go back on it again. And it also helps your intestinal tract. Well, just put it that way. <laughs> it's never been so smooth. That's a little more information just than I needed. It came right out. <laughs> oh, Vera says maple glazed chicken sounds very tasty. I'm guessing she meant very tasty. Yeah. So, yes. that, so just call it this? Yes. So that's what I use to not get colds, and I haven't used it for a long time, and I'm putting everyone on it because I'm sick of everybody being sick. Although we haven't been sick for a while, which is why I'm putting everyone on it, because I don't want Mike and Ellie to get sick right before their trip in three weeks. So. Can I show everyone? Oh, hi, Billy from Mexico. Good to have you on. Ooh, Mexico. Uh, yeah, I just had some friends come back. They were the early scouting mission for the Ireland trip. <laughs> no, actually, they were going for Valentine's Day, but they both got sick just as they were going, and they were sick the whole time. I was thinking, oh, you poor guy, you poor people, guys. <laughs> okay, come show them couple. how rich you are. <laughs> I'm rich. I got a hundred bucks. I got like three more downstairs. Well, <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Carrie says, watching how to make pumpkin spice soap and this live video pops up. So exciting. Yay! I'll have to finish that one later. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. So while our cake is baking, Gabe, can you get the phone out? <laughs> Linda says you had me at double chocolate. Dad's phone. Oh. Um, I'm going to cut. So those of you who joined me with, for my soap show yesterday, I made this luscious bar of soap out of leftover oh. oils. Check. Go. And I'm going to cut this real quick and then I'm going to make the frosting for the soap. David, oh. come shoot, please. Well, if Jack's going to be. David. Okay, so this has sunflower oil and some lard and some Crisco, and I had just a little bit left of all of it, and I just threw it all together using my lie calculator comes out of the mold quite nicely. It's a little on the moist side. Let's cut it and see what it looks like here. All right, you ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Ooh, pretty. Nice. Oh, Linda was asking regarding the cake. Is the gluten-free flour any different to work with? No, not really. There we go. So if you're watching this on YouTube later, we're doing, I'm cutting this live on one of our live shows at 430 Mountain on YouTube and Facebook because everybody likes seeing my soap too. Are you selling this? You want me to put this up? This I will be selling. I don't have it on my Etsy store yet, but I will be selling it. I'll try and get it on there tomorrow if I can. It's going to be four weeks before it's ready to go. But oh, I am very happy just, with it. Well, hold on. Can you see that line again? So. Ooh, you're getting lots of I likes. I am very, very happy with it. Wow. I'm thinking this is nice. Yay, I'm super excited. Yeah, Amy says after four days with no food, everything looks yummy. Oh, Probably man. even the soap, I imagine. <laughs> Why have you had no food for four days? Do you have the flu? That's not mm. good. Hetsy says we should do an RV through Canada. Yay! There wow. we go. All right, so that is my free soap using leftovers. Please give me a thumbs up, like, share, comment below, and visit us at livingonadime.com. Okay, Facebook, I'm back. Okay. Sorry, did I just interrupt your other video? Yes, but that's okay. Oops, I didn't realize you were recording other things at the same time. Wow. You're getting efficient while I'm sitting here. I know. I'm not paying attention to what you're doing. I am the world's most proficient multitasker. Uh, so Lori is asking, can you put anything in this cake, like nuts and chocolate chips and stuff? Yes, you can put anything in it um, that you want. So you could do coconut. Oh, that would be really good to sprinkle coconut on top and then put the frosting on. That would be super yummy. Okay, let me get my soap out of the way. Oops, I just washed my hands and now I gotta. Okay, 
So now I'm gonna make the frosting. Boys, stop arguing. But he's using David, a Jack, your cup is over there. Oh. Um, now I'm going to make the frosting for the cake. Flory says, I am so making the maple glazed chicken tonight. Mmm, can't wait. Yum, that is one of our biggest, rest, most popular recipes, I should say. Okay, now for the frosting. I have one cup of sugar. Frosting? Frosting. David. Yes. Wait, what kind of um, huh? cake are you making? Chocolate. Oh. Okay, pour the milk in. I don't really care. Here? Yep. Okay. Now, put the butter in. All of it? Yep. Wow, that's a lot of butter. Boop, boop. Throw that in the trash. Okay, now put four scoops of cocoa. I'll hold it, you just scoop. Three scoops? Four. One. Lynn says, looks gooey yummy on the cake. That's exactly what it is. Oh, Lori said she bought a bud cutter. Thank you. Your review helped Yay! me out. Yay! I'm so glad. And Love Eileen it. wants to know if you fixed the soap cutter. I got it fixed. Yeah. I was super happy. I was thinking if we ever go back to Missouri again, we should stop by and see if Bud would do an interview with us. What do you us. mean, if we ever go back again? Well, <laughs> BJ's sick and I didn't know. And Linda says, do you have a Boston cream high cake recipe? Hubby's birthday is next month, and that's his feed. I do. Actually, go to livingonadime.com and type in Boston cream pie cake, and I have it on there. That's actually was one of our top cakes for the top cake for years. Okay, so now I'm going to bring this to a boil, and I'm going to boil it for one minute, okay? So I'm just going to mix it together while it's... Um, getting all melty here any questions here while i do this well, Paige is asking if you still like the towels that you tried i love them and i love them so much that i used them up and i've had to get out my old ones because i got behind on my washing <laughs> or my washing um, i love them and i still love them after having them for a month now and so i really highly recommend them they're really really good Peter from Australia says she's watching us on a Sunday, Saturday morning. Wow, that Good sounds morning. lovely. It's probably a hot, is it hot there right now? <laughs> I don't know. I just want to go traveling. I'm thinking, let's see, what day do the boys get out of school? Like the 20 something of May. I'm thinking we should just get in an RV and go. <laughs> Let the cats fend for themselves. We can take the dog. Apparently, Nan was only 45 miles, about 45 miles away from the fires. Yeah, Whoa. now we have a bad forest fire over here. When I was going to pick up the boys, we all it's, were about to gag. That's planes. From all the, um, or I mean, plane fire. What did I say? Forest fire? Mm -hmm. Not forest fire, uh, prairie fire. Well, mm -hmm. hi, Eileen from Derry, Northern Ireland. Ooh. Ellie and I, I think you asked before, but Ellie and I are going to be in Coleraine for like two days. So if you want to get together for tea or something, that would be awesome. Oh, I or is it coffee? And I wasn't sure. Uh, but anyway, just let us know. If you want to let us know, you can go to the website to livingondime.com and go to the contact in if you're interested. Okay, so Sue on there, what exactly is tea? That's what I want to know. What is, is it just tea? dinner? Oh, afternoon tea? I think it's just like our dinner. I think it's tea and snacks of some sort. Hello, like... Ben Dinner Grandma. <laughs> okay, so it's starting to come to a boil. My butter is not melted yet, but as soon as it comes to boil, I'm gonna have it go for one minute. And then when my cake is done, I'm gonna poke holes in the top and pour the hot frosting over it. Michelle says, nice pan. I remember you saying you wanted one. Who was it that gave it to you again? It was, um, it, let me make sure I have it right. It was Oren and Margaret. Oh, that was really nice of them. I know. <laughs> Thank 
you guys. So sweet. Hmm. So now maybe I can keep my pants clean. <laughs> Your pants? My pants. Linda says, what video do you recommend for beginning soap making? Uh, the one that's not yet out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have an e-course for called Soap Making for Beginners. But if you go to my web, go to my YouTube channel, Living on a Dime. Me? <laughs> yeah. Michael, get the link. Wait. Do the um, olive oil soap or the lye soap. Wait, on the Living on a Dime channel or? Yeah. Because I don't have a plain, I don't have a plain soap yet on how to make soap because um a second okay so now i'm setting my timer for one minute i don't i i did my how to make plain soap today for my how to make soap youtube channel and hopefully on monday i'll have that video up sorry for the delay what videos did you say to look for on here the lye soap or the olive oil soap just type of soap well no that doesn't work again might now. Jamie wants to know where is the fire? I had to close the windows. It was very smoky. Um, well, as I was taking the boys to school, I could see it was east of Firestone. So it was really, really bad burning by fire. So type in Lysol. Um, It was burning really, really bad east of Firestone. Now, I, this is at a really brisk boil, so I'm turning the heat off. And I'm taking it off the burner because I only have 10 seconds left, okay? Oh. So now I'm gonna let this cool down. Two, one, three. yes. What did you do? What joke do you wanna tell okay, them? Okay, typed in live soap and granola recipe came Oh, up. brother. Okay, while we're looking for the recipe, Jack's got a joke. So, um, it's not really a joke, but there are fires in Firestone, not, that's uh, why it's called Firestone. No way! Do you know why it's really called Firestone? No, no I was just joking. But do you know why it's called Firestone? Because fires are in stone. Because the Indians what? used to call coal Firestones. And in Firestone, they, they get coal out of the ground so that people can heat. And so that's why they called it Firestone. <laughs> Pretty cool, <laughs> huh? Yeah, but it just... But it's really funny how there are fires in the I place. know, it is kind of funny that they've got firestones there and it's called Firestone. <laughs> um, it's funny because until I realized, until I learned that, I thought that was because they used to make the tires there. <laughs> uh, so let's see, which one do you want first? Olive oil soap or lye soap? It doesn't matter. Just throw them both on there. Okay. Oh, sorry, all that. Ooh, all right, man. here's one of those soap videos. The, uh, olive oil soap and then what and the difference between them is what so one is just plain lard get your hands off of him you now yeah. one of them is just plain lard and the other one is my more is my luxury bar this is the recipe stop it what? Stop giving me that. the luxury bar that i always use so um that's the difference between the two. Nancy made the pumpkin bread and it was super yummy. Yay! Thank you. I'm so glad you like it. Um, oh, thank you. Lisa, you like my apron, huh? That one I got at the thrift store. I think mom paid a dollar for it at the thrift store. Um, so you know, Kajita, Kajita, Kajitan? I don't know no, how you say that. It's Kayetan. Oh, Kayetan? Is it the K A J E T A N? I'm sorry, I don't know how you say that. He's gone, but yeah, oh, okay. Kayetan. Well, anyway, if you're if you're allergies and you have dust, that colostrum seems to really help a lot of people. So, okay, let's go back down here. Where were we? <clears throat> okay. Um, squash the insurrections. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. What were you looking for? I don't know. Just see if we have comments that people need. Oh, I had a whole bunch of them over here. Oh. Uh, although most of these are just hellos. Yeah, Denise said earlier, hello and bye from Texas, going to eat Mexican food. Oh, oh. I would go eat Mexican food too. I just made dinner though. If we should have gone out though. Lori said, love your last video on free soap. So creative. Oh, free soap? Thank you. That's the one I just cut. Yes. Oh, nice. Very nice. The free soap is the one I just, this one right here. 
I just cut it. Mmm, it smells so mm, fresh. Nice. And Andrea was asking if we found a house yet. We have not found we a house yet. We haven't looked at another one, have we? Uh, well, I keep looking online. They keep popping up. They're popping up more now that it's getting closer to the house selling season. Oops. But nothing has come up yet, and we're still looking for a car. I've got BJ doing that now because I'm getting sick of it. And so I think it was Christy asked, uh, said I just joined the live feed and I missed it. Where do I see the recorded version? You can watch it on Facebook later, but it may be harder to find. Or you can go to YouTube and type in Living on a Dime and go to our channel there and it'll be there as well. Yeah. It's probably easier to find it on YouTube. So I will tell you, with frugal living, you have to have patience. So one of the ways we've stayed out of debt is to not go into debt for cars. Period. Ever. We have never, ever, 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 ever had a car payment. <laughs> and we don't think you should have one either. There are very, very few circumstances where I would say you should have a car payment. And I just, I don't think you should have them, period. But the downside to that is when you need a new car and you smush it and it's totaled, it sometimes takes a little while to find a new one. But we've done it with probably 20 cars since we've been married and it works, so. Well, and for us, it was somebody else that smushed it. Rhonda wants yes. to know what the name of the soap cutter is. I was going to go grab the link uh, for Bud's. It's for Bud's Wood Shop. Yes. Um, oops, where grab are we? Grab the link to my review. I will. But before I do, uh, oh, she already answered about the house. And we already got that one. Suzanne said, receive your Dining on a Dime cookbook. I wish I had this 20 years ago. Thanks Yay! for all your great info and tips. Right here, Dining on a Dime. Oh, dear. I must this one up. Maybe what? I could auction this one off for like the show the version. Show version. Six hundred dollars. Who's got six hundred dollars? Six twenty-five. Six fifty. You silly girl. Diane and I'm good book. Yay! I'm so glad you like it. Uh, Oops. Did you like my auctioneer voice there? Yes. Okay, so I keep seeing children jumping on the trampoline in the reflection of my glasses, and it's disturbing me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right left or right? I don't know. Some kids are neighbors. Wow, the these things aren't the search isn't working at all. Right there. That's there because is. we keep cutting soap on the shows, and you put the soap cutter in the show description. Oh, okay. I was wondering because I was trying to type soap soap cutter and nothing was coming up. So yes. All right, so let's see what else we have here while I'm getting that prepared. Oh, did you see we popped up? It said we're live. It did? Yeah. Yay. Well, that's pretty cool. That is cool. Are we live? Yeah, <laughs> see, go back here. Look real quick. It's see, good to know we're actually live today. <laughs> Oops, where'd, the, where'd it go? Scroll back here. Just click on any of them. Oops. Oh. Show me. Hold on. Let me show you. Tara wants to see that we're live. Right there. Wait. Is that one supposed okay. to be on there? No. See? Sure enough. <laughs> that is awesome. How cool. Wow. Man. Okay, so okay. let me paste that in because I think I forgot. Okay. If I pasted it soap already. Soap cutter review. So, there you go. Uh, if you're asking about the soap cutter, we're pasting the soap cutter review. This is a review Tara did. We did not get compensated for it except that they gave her. He did give me one, one to review, but I highly recommend it. I mean, I wouldn't review it if I didn't like it. Or if I did, I'd tell you don't buy it. But Lori says, my five-year-old daughter loves to make melt and pour and watches your videos with mom. Yay! Mary I'm going to do a melt and pour with Jack someday. Marianne said, I think Jack is back to taste test. I told him he could come back to taste test, but I otherwise condemned him to the office for the moment. Yeah. Lisa wants to know if you know where they got the San Lucille pan. It's hard to find anymore, she says. Um, it was from, it came in an Amazon box, so I'm assuming they got it on Amazon. Well, Lynn says her um, dad is much better. Yay! Good. Let's see. Hi, Mike. Hi, hi Dave. Hi, Mike. Hi, Tara. The most patient friend of mine in the world, says Penny. <laughs> so Penny called me the other day. She had a soap making crisis. She was starting to make soap. But she did a beautiful bar of soap. It just turned out lovely. <laughs> I was very impressed. Um, Paige wanted to know if, if we can send her the name of the towels. We need to go find that again later. Oh, yeah. Um, I can just 
I can get her information so we can send that. Here, go right here. Oh, you know where they are? Type okay. in dish towels. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's find the dish towels for you here. I can do this. Scroll down. It's this one right. Nope. Scroll down. Let's see. Hold on. I can't see. Just a second. Sorry. Right. <clears> this <throat> one right there. Boink. Okay. Oh, wow. That was easy. Mm -hmm. Oops. These are really great dish towels. I, as a matter of fact, I was thinking about going and buying some more because they're so good. They're called the Lillian Collection. And I did like their Prima towel slightly better than this one that's on here now. Um, but you can find it if you just search Lillian Collection Prima. Mike um, is trying to get to it here. Here we go. All right. Sorry. I had to get ready to paste that link in. All right. So Paige and anyone who else wants to know. There's just, my dish I'm towels. just pasting link in right now. And I hate buying dish towels. They drive me crazy because I want something that actually picks up the water and doesn't just smoosh it around. And yes, I don't use fabric softener. I rinse them really well, all this stuff, and they still just don't do it. Uh, oops, it wasn't wanting me to paste it into YouTube. There we go. Now it's in. All right, sorry for that. Um, let's see. Eileen says, ta, ta for now going to my appointment. Goodbye. Bye, Eileen. Let's see. Uh, Jonathan's asking, what's a good recipe to make and freeze if you have whipping cream in the fridge? Uh, whipped cream. <laughs> so sometimes, I think Eileen... Ice cream? I, well, is it like spray can cream or like, because Ellie and I have taken Cool Whip and scooped a little in a bowl and put some chocolate sauce I on it. I would just make good old fashioned ice cream out of it. I mean, go to Living on a Dime. Oh, me? Yeah. Living on a dime. Living on a dime and type in well, those ice people, cream. They're awesome. Type in homemade ice cream. I know. They have the best stuff on that website. I just <laughs> love them. I go there every day. I go there several times a day. <laughs> uh, this one? Mm, no. Keep scroll scrolling. Keep scrolling. Um, Keep scrolling. Right there. Boink. Sandy wants a link to the towels. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just pasted it in, but I will paste it in again in just a second here. Uh, oops. Ah. So, homemade Jonathan. Homemade vanilla ice cream. Just for you, we're pasting in, ah, if I can get it to copy here, we're going to paste in a link to the homemade vanilla ice cream recipe. And he's in website. Florida, right? So it's probably hot there already. <clears throat> so you could do that. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Just pasted it in, Jonathan. And somebody asked for what? Oh, the, the towels. The towels. Okay. Towels link. I will paste the towel link in again. Thank you. And then we'll see what else we have in terms of questions. We are in our question and answer session now. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so just a disclaimer. Our little show the other day about Mike and I <clears throat> being the queen and the peasant, it was a joke. But did you get a lot of people complaining about it? Well, no, but I got a couple. It was a joke that Mike made up. <laughs> it was a joke that Mike made up. Because everyone always says how I'm the queen and I'm so bossy. And She's the queen of I everything. I am not bossy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's like do i run or do i sit here <laughs> you've got my bad arm on your side <laughs> stella says i love my dining on a dime cookbook but i bought one for my daughter and hers is all new and shiny and i want to switch switch don't tell her we've had some people say they loaned it and then they never got yeah. theirs back <laughs> yeah oh J michael got good news on his arm today Looks like, a, well, he said at least for now, it doesn't need surgery. He said it, it may need surgery eventually, but he gave me some other things um, to try. So hopefully that'll work great, which is good because I was a little concerned about us going over to Ireland with although it. Although he's going to have to get an automatic, which is $300 more to rent a car. $300 more in 11 days is like three times the price to have an automatic, which I understand there aren't very many, but still, zoinks. Yes, Dave? Aline Killen says, Tara, what did the hubby think about the toilet mug you got at the Goodwill shop? <laughs> he thought it was pretty funny. I did. I, got, I bought it for him because we keep having so many sh show problems, so I said, here you go, so you can flush your cares. <laughs> well, we hadn't had any show problems for a while until the other day. We just completely blew up on us on Wednesday. But uh, truly says I bought two copies years ago of the cookbook and gave them my daughters. They were just getting married or about to get married. I didn't think to get one for myself. 
Lori thinks I should have added a surprise ingredient to the cake. Oh, what would I have added? I probably would have added something like coconut, coconut. or chocolate chips. See, you know me. Maybe some cherries. Um, but if you had chocolate chips, then it would be triple chocolate chip cake. Tri triple chocolate cake and not just What's wrong with that? double. See, then we could put the so do I have to go in extreme Roost Tracks ice cream on top of it and then some fudge over the top. So do I have to go in my underwear drawer and go get the chocolate chips out? <laughs> yeah, unless you find out where my secret stash of chocolate is. Oh! <laughs> Christina, that plant is a coleus. And I don't know what the real name of it. I call it a rainbow coleus because as it gets bigger, the leaves start turning all a rainbow color. Oops, I need to water it. But let me see if you can. Here, you can start to see on this one right. Oops. This one right here, see how it's starting to turn all those pretty colors? And so Mike and I were <laughs> in Fort Collins one day and, oops, my gnome fell off. Which if you're not from Colorado here. is a city north of here, here about an hour. There! <laughs> and they have a great horticulture program there and this was all over the city streets and it was going to freeze that night. So we were at a stoplight and I said, stop, don't go without me. <laughs> and I jumped out of the car and I tore off a couple of pieces and I've had it going for three years now and I love it. So each night, each fall when we go to get our first freeze, because coleus usually freeze the first time you get any kind of frost. And um, I have loved it and it gets huge. Usually it's like this big on my front <clears throat> porch every year in August. It's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you've you've taken like one thing and made it into yeah. dozens of plants. Yeah, the sniffing before. was like this big, and that was it. Uh, let's see. Sandy says, "I'm so glad Mike doesn't need surgery right now." We are too. Yeah, us too. I mean, it still hurts, but he gave me some a different brace and some other things to try. So hopefully, that will work without having to have surgery. Um, Joanne says, "Yep, the more chocolate, the better." I have a chocolate stash also. <laughs> yeah. And Joyce wants to know, how did Dave get the money? He earned it. <clears throat> he earned it. He, he wink, wink. we pay yeah. him for working on the show. <laughs> um, and but I hadn't paid him for a while. Just so you think, he doesn't get $100 a show. <laughs> no. I don't even get $100 a show. <laughs> um, oh, Phyllis was asking your mom, I guess, how to get the names off vitamin bottles. I would just take a Sharpie and color over it. She was actually, she actually did a video that we were hopefully going to put on here soon. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, Lynn says, hey Tara, I just bought a cookbook called Dining on a Dime by you and Jill, and it's a white hardcover with a white binder edge. Oh, oh. you actually <clears throat> found one at a thrift store. How cool. The owner must well, have died. Oh, <laughs> The owner must have died. Oh! <laughs> Brilliant! The owner must have died. That's why it was at Goodwill. Sorry. Oh, you need another one for that, dear. That's so good. Sullivan Homesteaders. When can you taste test? Mm -hmm. In about six minutes. Okay. Sullivan Homesteaders' husband is in a lot of pain in the kidney area. Oh, They're on their sorry. way to the ER, so they said bye. Oh, no! Sorry. Hope he's I okay. Hope he does okay, Sullivan. Terry, no, the whole family's not going to Nor to Ireland. Just Ellie and me for right now. But it's a father-daughter thing. I'm and, thinking the boys and I should go somewhere. But it would be nice if we're able to do that in the future to have all of us go or at least so Tara and see. some of the folks that didn't so get to go. So you think it would take us a year to zigzag across the country in Canada? <clears throat> um, should we get a bus like Justin There's Rhodes? a lot of country between here, all around here in Canada, so it, one year might not be enough. Could we get a bus like Justin Rhodes is doing? Yeah, that would be exciting. Wow. Stop promoting we, people. We need two buses. We need one for the kids and one for the rest of yeah. for you and me. Yeah, we do, actually. Actually, you and I that. could just have a, a tiny bus, like a Volkswagen bus. <laughs> they could have a giant school bus. <laughs> yeah, uh, we just stack like, normal uh. buses on top of each other, though. Tammy says, I got my peppermint soap and it smells so good. Yay, Tammy, doesn't that smell good? That's called peppermint swirl. And, and T. Lynn says casseroles freeze well. There's cream in those, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Oh, yum. Lori said I made a chocolate mousse with whipped cream and instant pudding. So yummy. Oh. Are you listening, I love Jonathan? chocolate mousse. <laughs> that's my favorite. Des that's my number one favorite dessert ever. Did you know that? <laughs> I did. Remember chocolate when mousse is I my used favorite to be able dessert. To get it for you. So if anyone wants to send me chocolate mousse in the mail, please, I will take anything you want to send me. Get off your hands. <laughs> so Terry asked, "Are you going to Ireland just for fun?" Pretty much. <laughs> Well, Ellie wants to go to New Zealand by herself, and so we were trying to get her some experience and travel before she thinks about doing that, and um, yeah. since I've always wanted to go there, Tar suggested that we go, which is nice. So what happened was Ellie had been saving for a really, really long time to go on this trip, and we had a car accident where we got a little, I got a little bit of pain and suffering, and not much, like $5,000. And I took $1,500 last year and went and spent a month sitting in a motel by myself at the hot springs in last February and March. Oh, man. This time last year, my trip was almost over. Oh, I'm sorry. I think it's time to go back. Um, and so we said on that other half of the money, Mike could go somewhere and... He was going to go with Dave to Utah to go hiking, and Dave and broke his foot. And I dislike them because they're being and all mean. So and... now he's going to go do that with Dave probably another time, but he's going <coughs> to go to Ireland with Ellie. So. And I can't complain about that at all. <laughs> Keep her from meeting some guy over there. Yeah. So let's see. Uh, yes, Rhonda says, I think it's a nice father and daughter get quality time together. Me too. I think that'll be a great time. So mm. let's see. Um... Sharon, wants to, Sharon and Melinda both want to know what you're making for dinner tonight. I am making ranch chicken. Oh, yum. So I took boneless, skinless chicken, and I rolled it in some butter, and then I rolled it in some ranch dressing mix, and it's in the oven, and sweet potatoes and rice. And Robin said the Queen and Peasant episode gave me a good chuckle. Good. I'm I glad think, you thought it I was funny. Most people got it. I think the ones that didn't get it probably don't know us. <laughs> because I think they thought that Tara was saying that she doesn't respect me <laughs> or something and that's not at all what we were saying it was just we were just being silly we we're just trying to be silly <laughs> just because poor mike he has a to-do list that he is going to be finishing when he dies and in his heaven <laughs> because because it is so his to-do list is so long there's no way he's ever going to get it done and so it was a joke because Every day, I'm like, um, I really need this done. So-and-so needs this done. Oh, uh, we need to do this. So, like, where does it go in the order of the other things that you've already given me that I haven't finished yet? Because Mike does, like, nine-tenths of the work. So, Mom does, like, nothing. You see my face, and I answer <laughs> your questions, but he's the one that's doing all the grunt work, so. Lori says we're all ready to taste test, and Patricia asked, what did you make? I missed it. Patricia, I'm going to share the link while Tara tells Double you. choc, sinful double chocolate cake. Yeah. Which is actually looking like it's getting close to done. Hmm, excuse me. Somebody was saying they love the, the picture of the thumbnail. <laughs> which yes. probably looks a little different than the one we're making tonight because we're using a different pan. Let's Oops, see. no, not yet. Almost. So Jonathan says, I have whipping cream. I will make you mousse. <laughs> oh, it is so good. Turin says we should drive a bus that has flower power on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, with gnomes painted all over it. Ah! That would be so The gnome mobile. <laughs> the gnome mobile. We could tie all my gnomes all over it. <laughs> that would be so cute. <laughs> Oops. Usually when I comment to people, I try to tag, but... Facebook isn't letting me do that lately. Pam has a sister in New Zealand. I think we should go to New Zealand. I think we need to make it a travel show. We would love to go to New should Zealand. Should we homeschool David and Jack? I would and love just... to make it a travel show. Yes, please homeschool me. We'd love to take I everyone with us on the travel show. <laughs> Terry says, you guys are such a cool family. Thank you. Thank you. 
<laughs> okay, the cake's almost done, guys. I'm going to give it just a couple more minutes. Jai. Yeah. Ooh, I, Lynn I says, Jackie freezer cream in. and that chocolate bark mit mixed is really moussey. Yum. Yum. I don't want to die of a stroke, so I'm not going to eat Suzanne, it. Suzanne, you never saved bacon grease before? <gasps> she says, Let me tell you, you must. She says, once strained, do I need to keep it in the fridge? Yes, you do. And it'll last quite a while. Ooh, Lori but says, it is the, the best stuff ever. One of the castles from the movie Rain is filmed in Ireland, and she recommends us watching it. I'll have to I've check it out. I've never seen that movie. We're going to see a lot of mm. castles, but I was th realizing, you know, even <laughs> though Ireland's not a very big place and we have a lot of time, it's not nearly enough time to see everything. Yes, Sherry, the butter for the chicken was, I melted the butter in the pan first, and then I rolled the chicken in it, and then I sprinkled the ranch dressing so I didn't even have to dirty <laughs> another pan. So Paige says, some people are so very uptight. <laughs> and Turin says, I love that video. I know, they need a laxative. <laughs> I just wanted to mail them some laxatives and say, cure free your colon from its bondage. <laughs> no, don't be using any Dave quotes here. <laughs> no, you, that's a Dave quote. <laughs> Liz. Dave's always going around saying, I'm going to free my colon from its body. No, <laughs> you guys heard nothing. You guys heard nothing. You didn't think we'd mention that on the show, no. did you? We should turn the camera around and get the embarrassment. Here, you, want, you want to be on the show? Come on. No. <laughs> Lynn says, when my hubby and I goof off, our youngest kid thinks we're being mean to each other. Oh, no. And Carol says, we should paint living on a dime on the bus and then get a touch. I right? know. The truth is, we can write it all just, off. Just by traveling around and making video for the channel, we could. <laughs> Thomas has a troll car. Hetsy uh, asks, "Do you beautiful peeps still have hardcover copies of the cookbooks left to yes. ship to Canada?" Yeah. Hardcover. It's not a hard. I mean, well, do you mean print? If you mean in print, we have it in print. It's not a hard cover, but it is in print. And we do ship to Canada still, so. Thank you, Hetsy. Uh, oops, let me just. I don't like. I don't love you guys anymore. Oh, <laughs> we still love you. Let's see. Oops. Oh, ah. David. Oh. Donna says I have tubs of bacon grease in the fridge. Are you saving it for soap? You need to make soap. Robin, do you live in Nome? <laughs> Robin says, "Be it ever so humble, there's no place like Nome." <laughs> oh, maybe she means Nome. <laughs> yes. I was thinking she meant no Alaska. Uh, Tara in the... The Tara in Tow Travel Show. <laughs> That's a great suggestion, Jonathan. <laughs> Susan says good. Rain is a weekly TV show. We have to check it out. Actually, I forgot. What was the one we used to watch about the, the loch in Scotland? Oh, uh, like something or another's. Oh. Uh, oh, shoot. It was really good. They kind of... I hate it when these shows, they're so good, and then they change actors or actresses. But that one stayed fairly, it had a rough <laughs> season or so, but it stayed pretty good. Talk a lot, um, helps, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> so, somebody asked what to do with bacon grease. Go back to that. Who was it? Uh, Stop. No. Uh, keep going. Dun, 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 dun. Stop. Paige. Paige asked. So, what do you use with bacon grease? So, I use it in my scrambled eggs instead of butter. I use it to grease my pan for my cornbread or my regular bread. Mom had that tip to grease your pan for your bread with bacon grease, and it adds a really yummy taste. You don't taste the bacon, but it adds a really yummy flavor. Um, you can use it for in baked beans. You can add some in your meatloaf for a bacony flavor in the meatloaf. It is, I put it in my potato salad. And everyone says, I have the best potato salad ever. And I do, don't I? Yep. You do. Keep going. It's wonderful. It's amazing. Not as amazing as you. Oh, you're so good. I knew that was going to happen. Um, I, came here. I have one friend who just begs to have my potato salad every time she comes over because she just loves it so much. So... That's some of the things that I use it for. Yes. Jonathan says Monarch of the Glen. Yes. Yes, that's what it was. I knew it started. It was a good show, but what happened? Did it end weird or something? There was something well, that went strange about in it. In the middle, they kind of changed characters, and it wasn't that great. And then... Oh, it, like it, the, the one love interest that, switched to the other love interest yeah, or something? Yeah, I'm just like, I don't know. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to poke holes all over. <laughs> now you can do this with a fork 
I don't know, is a fork better maybe? Maybe a fork's better. Your mom says use the baking grease for French toast pa or fry pancakes. Yeah, to fry pancakes and French toast works really good. Well, and Lana says my mom always saved baking grease and would rub it on potatoes before baking and use yes. it on the pie crust. Mm -hmm. You've done that too, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I take my baked potatoes and I rub baking grease and salt them on the outside. <laughs> and delish. Ooh, I haven't said that in a while. Ooh. Okay, so now I've just poked holes all over my cake. Now we take the frosting. Oh, should we see if we have any coconut? Suzanne is watching from Stockholm. Oh, Stockholm, I was Hi, there. Hi, Suzanne. I yeah. was there, I was there. She says we almost broke the speaker on her phone today. <laughs> I love Sweden. I was there for three, was it three months? Two or three months after I graduated high school. I was going to be an exchange student and then I got sick. Should I put coconut on it? Sure. Uh, Cheryl wants to know if you strain the bacon grease. I strain it, but well, really why are you putting coconut on it? Well, just on part of it, because mom Ooh, and dad. Susan like wants coconut. you to make the potato salad for them. I have that on my list. That's not going very well. So Jamie and I made this list of the shows, and so far, I haven't used one show on there yet. <laughs> Lori says an RV with an easy bake and chocolate cake samples on the road. There you go. See, she's got it down. <laughs> Okay, so now watch this heavenly gloriousness happen. Yeah. Just start drizzling oh. and go around the edges oh. because it kind of rolls down to the middle. Now this gluten-free flour didn't get quite as fluffy as you wish it normal did. flour does. It's all right. It doesn't hurt anything, but all right. So now... Marianne says Jack is back to do his taste test. He is. <laughs> you like uh, taste Louise testing? Louise wants to know how long does bacon grease last in the fridge? You know, I have mine several months. That's what your mom said. So, I mean, I really do. Jack, lots of people saying hi to you. Hi. Okay, did you want to come say hi, Dave? No. Yeah, Jonathan, I don't remember how it ended, but... I'm the sure Mark or the Glen? He said it jumped the shark. <laughs> Which, yeah. I've never heard that. Remember but I, the but old I, guy got that one gal pregnant? Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. No, 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 don't and, take everybody. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. And, I don't remember that part. Yeah, and then he had to marry the other housekeeper because he was really in love with her the whole time and he didn't know it. You're supposed to say spoiler alert. <laughs> Cheryl wants to know how do you strain the baking grease? Um, excuse me? I just use a little colander like this, or I don't know, what do you call this? Strainer. I just use a little strainer a little like hand that. Strainer. And Billy says, I love to watch your show. It takes my mind off my broken leg. I'm oh, sorry about your oh, leg. Oh, so sorry. Okay, can you go get a, a plate? Sherry wants to know if that's sweetened coconut. Yes, it is. Oh, Suzanne Dang in Stockholm so says, You have a lovely boy. family. Thank you. Mm, 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 mm. Is it divine? Oh, man. Yum. Oh, Pamela says okay. put bacon grease in fried cabbage. That yeah, would that would probably be really good. <laughs> and sure. Ann says Jack has the best job ever. <laughs> what did you want to tell them? So, my <clears throat> my friend's mom was about to have a baby, but the baby died before he was even born. Oh, Aww. that's sad. That sometimes happens. Yeah. Was that recently or a long time ago? Recently. Oh, Oh, okay, so bad. this gluten-free flour is a lot mushier than regular flour. Actually, hmm, interesting. Okay, it's kind of warm. Blow first. Wow. Lori says 10 provinces. Hubby drives it in 60 to 66 hours across, only stopping for gas and food. I wonder if that's 10 provinces in Canada? Zoinks. Super chocolatey. They're only like 12 or something. They're like 13. Is it yummy? You just died from yumminess? Hi, Peggy again from Idaho. Okay. I forgot we're in mm. Idaho. But we need to make a trip to Idaho sometime too. Take our older kids and show I them found a house, but nobody will let me move there. <laughs> nope. I, I found an old school. Oh, actually, man, that's So, Dave, good. how did you say it is pronounced? Is it Kayatin? Yeah, Kayatin. Where is Ka Kavan, Ireland? I don't know where that is. Hmm. So delish. He, he's offline. Mm -hmm. Oh. Now, so. 
Yeah, to go to sleep. Treasure Your Time says, Hey Tara, Emily is super excited to see you tomorrow. She feels like you're a family member. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? You Treasure Your Time? Oh, yay! Uh, oh. Okay, taste test. Good enough, so mm -hmm. that's sad. I'm at Jack's thing. Dinner. Mm, 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 I mm. made that. It's in this it's in this great cookbook I know right here. What? You should get a copy or two thousand five hundred. Hmm. <laughs> I actually Dining have... on a dime, page two thirty-five. I think I have a few hundred copies already. Okay, now this is a little more moist than normal. That's really yummy. It's the gluten-free flour. Normally, it's more cakey. This is more brownie. -y. <laughs> Denise has got milk. Amy wants a bite. I'm so hungry. Mm. She says, "How come you haven't really eaten for good. days, Amy?" Marie oh, says hi from Dumfries in Scotland. Hi, oh, Marie. Did I mention I haven't had chocolate cake in like years? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Hmm, I wonder where in Scotland that is. I've heard of it, but I don't know where. Mm -hmm. think... Yep, you may. Oh, That's can very I also thoughtful. Have another piece? <laughs> so you want to get a lotion stick for your friend because his <gasps> hands get really dry, huh? Actually, they get dry to the point uh, where it's bleeding. Oh, you have to give him one of Mom's lotion sticks. His best friend has super dry hands like Jack, but Jack's don't bleed. Don't anymore because he's been using Mom's super duper lotion stick, huh? Yeah. Yep. See right can here. I have another piece. So I sell the lotion sticks on my Etsy store right here, the little mini ones. Uh, careful. And then I have the big ones. And then you can just go boop, 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 boop. They're travel size. They work great. Jack carries one in his pocket so that if he gets... Actually, um, actually, lately it's being moist. Not like just keeping, really... Yep. So I don't really need to do so that. So it's been staying? There okay, there's off. just a little bit more because we're eating dinner soon. So Bunny said... But life's too short. Eat dessert first. Hello, miss most of the show. Well, we're glad you made it, even Yay! though it's... And Lori said mm. chocolate covered bacon on a stick at the Wisconsin State Fair. Whoa. I've heard of stuff like that, usually <laughs> at Renaissance festivals. All right, got the last Jack of our is questions. so cute. Oh, uh, sure. No teasing, that cake looks divine. Thanks, mm. Lori. Uh, let's see oh. what else we have here real quick. Did I turn off the oven? I don't know. Maybe that's why the cake is semi-soggy. Oops. Oops. <laughs> um, let's see, what else did we miss? Anything? Lynn uses most of all leftover fats for meats for homemade dog food. Oh, Lynn, yes. We take base, bacon grease and dice it in for potatoes, uh, and we fry potatoes in our bacon grease, too. Bandana needs to make... Else here. Bandana has one of those 911 moments. Um, I need, she says, I need to make a cake for the birthday tomorrow. Yes. Birthday party tomorrow. Have you ever made a frosting with marshmallow buttercream? Gonna try it tomorrow. I have. Oh, it's really good. Did we already answer? Vicky is asking if the gluten-free cake was lowering calories. Probably no. Not. <laughs> not even close. Um, gluten-free is not lowering calories at, by any means because the sweets are just as sweet. It's the sugar that makes the calories high. Whoa. Oh, it's about 25 degrees Celsius. I think that's moderately warm in uh, Australia. Um, Lisa, Mom got this for me at the thrift store. I'm sorry. Uh, oh. So. Hang on a second, sorry. Uh, Liz said twice in a month I've been unsubscribed with the bell on, but I promise never to leave you guys. So, Thank guys, you, Liz. if you're unsubscribed, please go recheck and make sure you're subscribed. And please resubscribe and click that little bell so that you'll be notified. Also, the longer you watch our videos, the more YouTube shows it to other people and the more it helps us. If you give us thumbs ups that you like our videos, that really helps us also. And even those two people, 30 seconds after each video that gives me a thumbs down, that actually helps. I'm not saying give me a thumbs down. I'm just saying, thank you guys. Even though you're being a dork, it's still helping. <laughs> Amy says tea can be tea can be dinner. And somebody else, uh, Sue says afternoon tea was introduced to Britain in the 1800s to stave off hunger while waiting for your evening meal around 8 p.m. Wow. Holy moly, 8 p.m.? Yeah, and Kathleen says a snack around 4 p.m. Wow. Hmm. See, what I want is what all those, I see all the movies, they have all these little cakes and all these little sandwiches, and I just want to try them all. 
<laughs> if I go to Britain ever, I'm going to blow my gluten-free diet. And Sue's trying to persuade your mom to sneak along in our suitcases. I think she should. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's just about it for the moment. Oh, Mom, Amy. last night Oh, went... that's wonderful. Amy says 25 degrees is 77 Fahrenheit. Wow. That's wonderful. So Mom got to go out. One of our viewers, Barb, she took Mom out to dinner last night. <laughs> she came all the way down. Let's see. Where was she from? Mom told me, and I can't remember. I think she's on. Was it Oberlin Park? Oh, shoot. I can't remember. She's in Kansas. And she got mom. She took mom out to the Texas Roadhouse. Oh, that was nice. Wasn't that nice and thoughtful? Yep. So bar mom had a great time. Thank you. She had a blast. And tomorrow, Ooh. do you think we'll have Why a blast? Your mom rate to get to go to Texas Roadhouse. I know. <laughs> I want somebody to take me out to Texas Roadhouse. <clears throat> <clears throat> hey, I'd be happy to take you there. <laughs> Marie asked if we ever tried haggis. No, I have not. I've heard of it. What is it? And we'll probably have an opportunity. Um, it's something in Scotland that it sounds like some people really like it and some people really don't like it. So might have to try it just because it's a Scotland mm. thing. <laughs> mm. Amy wants to know if supper's ready yet. Almost. All right. Well, looks like we're getting ready to wrap this up. So. All right, guys. We will see you on Monday at 430 Mountain. Please visit us at livingonadime.com go make your own poke cake or double sinful it double is super, chocolate cake super delicious super delish and let's see please like share comment subscribe those of you who said you are coming do not lie and please come to the thinking of bob so we, never can't if, wait. we never did find out if we can go live so on then we can we? like sign your cookbooks or whatever yeah, we'll sign your cookbooks if you're coming tomorrow. And tomorrow our meetup is at Perkins in Longmont, Colorado at 1 p.m. She'll give you a hug, too. And I'll if give you a hug. She's not a If you forget, friend. go to livingonadime.com to the contact form. But you have to send it to us before, before we leave. 1 p.m. tomorrow, because we'll probably have to... What I don't know, what time should we get there? 12.30, probably, to set up the cameras and everything? I hope we cameras. can shoot what? it. <laughs> no, I'm just going to shoot it. Middle, middle log okay. camera. All right, guys, have a good night. Oh, and you peeps that are going to be there are probably going to be vlogged, like, in my video. So. <laughs> if you're willing. If you're willing. Yeah, if I you don't want to be on me. If you're in the witness protection you. program or something, we understand how that is. And we won't. Oh, whatever. <laughs> we won't put you on. Goodbye. Have a nice night, guys. Bye. Thank you. See you later. <laughs> Hold up. Let me tell you two good night. We <laughs> know how that is. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Bye. Bye.